More bad news for Sean Diddy Combs. Days after he settled a lawsuit with his former girlfriend, a major business decision. Our Andrea Case joins us now with the latest. Andrea. Michelle and Nathan, good afternoon. Well, one sex assault lawsuit settled in just 24 hours. Two more have since been filed. Now Diddy is stepping aside from one of his many business ventures. A major force in the music business, Sean Diddy Combs is listed as a billionaire in Forbes magazine. But today he is separating himself from one of his business ventures. Combs stepped down from his position as chairman in the film and television company called Revolt, which recently celebrated its 10th anniversary. The music-oriented network appears to be distancing themselves from him, saying, while Mr. Combs has previously had no operational or day-to-day -day role in the business, this decision helps to ensure that Revolt remains steadfastly focused on our mission to create meaningful content for the culture, amplify the voices of all black people throughout this country and the African diaspora. The move is indefinite. Diddy began his career at the entry level as a talent director, then the creator of Bad Boy Records 30 years ago. There he helmed the careers of some of hip-hop's biggest names, notorious B.I.G., Usher and Mary J. Blige, in addition to his own multi-platinum music career. The 54-year-old has a partnership in Wines and Spirits, co-founded a Harlem prep school and a clothing and lifestyle label. Earlier this month, he settled the multi-million dollar bombshell lawsuit filed by his former girlfriend and employee, Cassie. Last week, two other women came forward with claims of sexual abuse. A representative for Combs says the claims are false and a money grab. The New York Adult Survivors Act, which expired last week, allowed alleged victims to come forward with sexual assault claims despite how long ago the incident occurred. The two latest ones, 30 years ago. But the details of the cases have people continuing to debate the future of Diddy. For CTV News, I'm Andrea Case.